if you are one of the people who make videos at YouTube, you're probably looking at the classic Creator Studio and the Studio Beta. Now, if you're also paying attention a little bit, then um, to Creator Insider's channel with Tom here, you would have spotted, or I spotted it purely by accident, that about a couple of hours ago, you know, no more than, goodness, uh, yeah, two hours ago, Tom put out a tweet which said, we just rolled out bulk actions in studio beta so let's get rid of that for a moment oh thanks for the retweet by the way tom um bulk actions for those people my guess out of billions of people who use youtube logged in my guess is about say 23 million people who actually make videos if you whittle that down there's and of course there are people you know like me who do make videos what i'm trying to get at is my total videos public and private, 1180 on the left hand side. And what you can actually do, and this is a little bit nervous, and it should be nervous, is because a bulk action, when you start checking boxes like that, if you mess up, let's say for example, I wanted to do old school bulk action to change, say the description, then I'm already really starting to do cold sweat here because I've got about 30 videos here that I'm about to change. Now that's not good news. When I say not good news is because if I got it wrong, like appending to the end, appending to the start, set to or remove, I'm gonna lose all the text or some of the text in 30 of my videos. This is bad, bad news, unless you get it right, in which case it's good, good news. So let's um, see what this thing actually does. First of all on screen, I've showed you that any bulk action in the old way is append to end, append to start, set to and remove. That's what the old version is. Tell you what, let's let's um, show you. And I wanna get, I wanna clear all of this lot. How do I clear it? Is it that one? Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Uh, select all the videos, cancel. Would cancel do it? Let's get out of that. Right, now I'm, phew, you know, I haven't selected anything. So let's go over to the other way and what I've got here is two private videos at the top, which are the only two I'm going to select because these have got ridiculous um, areas of text. Now there's one, two, three, four, and text, beach, bar, cello, and trumpet, which is just a text selection. So in this way, I go in, and if I wanted to edit the, and I'm just going to stick at this time being with the description because it's a good like for like for me. So remember it said in the left hand side, append to start, append to end. This time we've got insert at the beginning of the text, insert at the end of the text, replace, I think is old school was, we can do it, can't we? If I go over here, look, and I do the same thing, and I do description, bear in mind there's a lot of um, bits and bobs here, I've got append, append, set to and remove. So you can see that old school or old way is set to, the new wording for that is replace. Hmm, okay, and then remove, which is I, I'm applauding the change from append to insert, because it just makes sense. So let's um, do away with old, and we will shutter in the new. So what happens, um, I've just got it up to um, 200 because I just want to focus your screen on what we can see. So if I wanted to go in here with these two and I wanted to insert at the beginning um, the word dog for, for some you know reason and I've got 5,000 characters I can change, I can update the word dog into videos. I just want to make sure this is working really and I don't want to be here too long but if you're passionate about this and you really want to figure out what is going on for the next step in the future of YouTube and Studio Beta then you could do a lot worse than actually um, looking around and I was just hovering over the thing here where it says send feedback please send feedback because also YouTube do actually want to know from people on a one-to-one -one basis not all the time but I've been called in um, a few times, well, quite a few times actually. Um, I hope not to be padding for time, but I would have thought that doing this as a live update, you normally hang around, there's only two videos that are actually, there we go, done. Thank you. So what we've got now clearly, and you can see this on screen, is the word dog has been 
inserted into both of them. So that actually works. The point of this is, does it work? Can I trust it? Could I bet my YouTube life on it that the thing is going to work? So this time I'm going to go in, I'm going to do the script description again, and I'm going to, I'm not going to insert at the end, replace and remove. So this time I'm going to remove the word dog and that will come out. Do you know what? That, that's probably going to work, I think. I'm not going to have a, a problem with that. Writing descriptions with keywords, help viewers, yada yada, give an overview of your video, place keywords at the beginning of the description. Hmm. The bit I'm interested in here is replace. Now, does that mean the whole thing? So this time I'm going to say, um, hello, this is a studio beta test demo. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to replace. Does that mean I lose my other text about beaches and trumpets and cellos and things? Let's see, shall we? Update. Now, I would actually know or I would think I would know that by the old version, set to would actually mean that I would delete all of the text, everything, and then um, replace it with what I've just written, which is really, really good because I'm nearly approaching 1,000 public videos. Some of my playlists, I think I've got about 143 different playlists over teaching resources of just stuff, you know, if you know my channel. And that is that by categorizing these things in a public way. I see my channel as a page or if you like a library shelf and it's getting bigger and bigger. You'd expect a library, a university library, even a store for that matter, to be accurate. And I think it's just done it. Look, it says, hello, this is a studio beta test demo and that's duplicated. Let me just have a quick look at this top one because these are private files, by the way, that I've just made a 30 second. Yeah, it's, it's deleted everything. That's lovely. Right, I'm about to end this, but before I do that, um, this video that is, by the way, not, not my existence, um, the bit I'm interested in is if I go to um, edit the bulk actions, the one I'm really, really interested in is video statistics. And the reason I am is because I've got two videos that are selected for video statistics. But the weird part, which is a lovely weird, is video statistics on the watch page can be accessed by clicking the chart icon below the video. Now, as far as I'm concerned on YouTube, I've not seen any chart icon for a long, long time. If you remember back in the day, I think um, there was, um, hold on, let's, uh, what's in Kenilworth is my blog. Um, the reason I'm doing this is, you know, for the for the team as well to see this is that I did a ton of studies on audience retention, which was something like this. And I'll tell you why, because it was really, really useful for those people um, who looked at. Yeah, I think it was this one, wasn't it? Um, what I'm trying to get to is back in the day with with YouTube, you used to go in and you used to have this thing. Yeah, this this would do, wouldn't it? Um, this is one of my blog posts, by the way, where you would go in and there would be like a little thing you would check and you would see, yeah, look, video statistics, and this is October 14, the average view duration. It also gave, if I clicked over to views here, it would give views over time with like a line graph. And I found that really, really, really interesting um, to figure things out. But then it just disappeared. It just went from, well, I think there was three buttons and it said like more or something. Anyway, look, that was a new thing from Tom L on Creator Insiders. And I just want to get this video out because it's something I'm working through. And it's, if you're into it, it's pretty exciting, really, if you run a channel.